I'm Lisa Margolin, and I'm originally from Iowa City. Um, I've been living in New York for the past five years, but I'm back uh, to, for work here in Iowa City. And I came here today because my parents came, and um, I had previously been to uh, a similar thing with John Edwards and um, was really unexpectedly surprised by Joe Biden, what, what he had to say, and how he came across. And um, I'm voting for him. His biggest thing is about action, and I think that that's what's needed, and that's what he will do. Very impressed. It's just extraordinarily clear that he is—he um, really knows what's going on, and he has a vested interest in uh, following through and making those things happen. And I, uh, clearly, that's been demonstrated in the past, and I can only imagine that that uh, will continue. And I, I mean, that—that that was that was the most. Uh, stunning part of the whole thing is that he it, it doesn't matter like this is this is inconsequential whether he wins or loses he will continue to believe in what he does and act on it my number one issue to be dealt with in the pre next presidency is to clear up what's going on in the Middle East it's ridiculous it's out of control if war with Iran is a terrible option so is the possibility of an Iran armed with nuclear weapons my concern is not that a nuclear Iran someday would be moved by messianic fervor to use a nuclear weapon as an Armageddon device to commit national suicide in order to hasten the return of the hidden imam. I do not think that is likely. My worry is, though real, a fear that a nuclear Iran will spark an arms race in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Syria, and others joining in. We're worried about a nuclear Iran now. I promise you, it is not a very big step to have to begin to worry about a nuclear Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is the genie out of the bottle, this administration has no sense of how to grab hold of something that's of greater concern to me than even global warming. When we're asked what is the most serious, serious issue facing America, almost every Democrat will say global warming, and I agree it is consequential. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, fissile material, an engaged world seeking nuclear capacity, failure to control the combination of terror and access. That is the single most immediate threat facing the United States of America.